Hi guys, I'm back with another Transformers toy review. It's another G1 reissue, and uh, this is Frenzy and Laserbeak. We've already had a look at Soundwave and Buzzsaw, and then Ravage and Rumble. Now it's time to take a look at Frenzy and Laserbeak. Again, come as a two pack. Great artwork, as usual. I know I normally say that, but uh, you've got Frenzy here in robot mode yes frenzy's blue and then you've got uh, laser beak here on the right hand side um nice finish to it um the cardboard where it's been in the garage is a little bit gets a little bit warped unfortunately and then the back you've got the instructions showing you how you convert him to tape to robot mode obviously it's the same for this guy in terms of the same transformation as it is for Rumble and Laserbeak, same transformation that we've already seen. But it's nice and simple, so we'll go through it again. And then you've got your kind of tech specs and uh, bios. So I normally just go through these, unfortunately, again, sticker over the top of these. So you'll have to be careful in terms of trying to get it off. Looks as if it can come off fairly easily. Um, what I don't want to do is uh, that in terms of trying to take anything away. So I'll just leave that for the time being. So laser beak function interrogation. The only point I like in Autobots, melting point. So a uh, laser beak with a bit of a joke there. Uh, laser beak takes pleasure in hunting his prey. Usually the straggling survivors of a battle, noticeably not brave, will run for safety if threatened, flies at speeds up to 250 miles per hour, uses two independently targetable laser cannons with extreme precision to get information from captives. Shortage of ruby crystals that powers the lasers can panic his systems into shutting down. Okay. Um, hard to make out everything on here or many of the things really the only thing you can kind of make out from this is you've got a skill of nine there and then you've got um frenzy here and his function he's a warrior uh, and his little saying is so panic and surrender will bloom does that make sense i'm oh, sure it does if frenzy needed to breathe War would be his oxygen. He knows no cause, only craves to spread fear and destruction. His efforts are appreciated by other Decepticons. His devotion to warfare makes him hard to deal with on a personal level. Can roll his drums to produce high pitch grating sound of 200 decibels. Disorients and disrupts electric flow in opponent circuitry which makes the malfunction possibly weak. Oh, sorry, physically weak. His maniac attack can be countered with cool logic. Okay, and then you've got uh, strength. What was that? Uh, three, intelligence five, speed four, uh, endurance six, rank six, courage ten. Uh, firepower 9 and skill 6 so plus them in the packaging what we do now is we'll open them up and uh, take a look at them and get the transformations done here we are we've got them out of the packaging in their tape modes and again just bring sine wave in this is the reissue also fits in there fine and laser beak. I don't think they're going to be any issues. This one seems to be the harder one to fit in. Um, we saw the same with Buzzsaw, didn't we? Uh, it seems that one is a little bit harder to to open. The wings kind of catch slightly um, as you kind of push them in there. So that's just something just be wary of. I hope I've not uh, broken that, but 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's fine. And um, yeah, so first of all, we've got uh, laser beak here in his tape mode, and uh, you've got A on the side there. So obviously, you've got the A in the B side, and uh, you've got your rub sign there, which uh, if you put your finger on that for long enough, it should change to a septicon symbol. Come on. You can roughly sort of make out that it's coming out there. And uh, here's the other side. Obviously, you can see the red paint come out. It's easy to transform. Just kind of pop his head out like that. And fold these out. You're going to press these up like that. And then you can do what you like with the wings. And then as a sort of finishing touch, you've got uh, these kind of almost like a jetpack or blasters that you stick on the top there. Okay. Just like that. And that completes the look for him. I think he does look better in red, doesn't he? As opposed to Buzzsaw. Um, I just prefer the look of him. And then we've got uh, Frenzy here. And uh, again, same transformation as before. Bring these down, fold the legs out, fold them, yeah, that's right, down like that, fold them in, like that. Feet die cast, got nice stickers on the front, gold paint's all done nicely. On this one, this symbol, the Septicon symbol is pretty much in the middle. Then you fold these out like that, and uh, the head pops up like that as soon as you do that. One thing, if you do get yourself uh, one of the sort of vintage ones, just to be aware, is where the transformation kind of has these pushed in here. Sometimes you get it where the head doesn't come out properly or it's uh, all loose, so that's just something to be aware of. The articulation on this guy is exactly the same as it was with Frenzy. Um, good looking figure, the tolerance is nice and tight and again you've got the option of popping one of these in his hand this way around so they just kind of clip on the side here oh, I think that's right put it a bit further down Like that so you can hold it in his hand or the preferred look for me is just to have these on the back like so and that's my preferred look for him and it I think he's uh, pretty awesome looking and then if we get them all together you've got uh, buzzsaw up here and you've got laser beak over here you've got frenzy there you've got rumble over here and then you also have ravage over here like so and then you can bring in sound wave oh don't want to knock anything over then you can bring in sound wave just to add him to the party as well. Um, I think I've got a couple of other ones as well. I think I've got the, the dinosaur one as well, which I can add in as well. So he's a good one. And uh, I've got uh, an old rat bat as well. So I've got a fair few there. So um, yeah, I'll add, add them to the mix, so to speak. But uh, there you are, that's, uh, that's them really. It's not really loads to explain on them. Really good quality. Um, I love these G1 reissues and I just wish they'd do more of them. I'd absolutely lap up any that they can do. I haven't got the Perceptor Blaster one. I do already have Blaster, so I've, but I think I'll just pick it up anyway um, just because it's a quite decent price for the two of them anyway. So I'll probably pick that one up. I think I've got the 
the Seekers one as well. Um, I've got a hot rod. I haven't got the Starscream one, although it does come with that extra Megatron gun, so I am a bit tempted by that. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much everything to show you guys. Fingers crossed they come up with a few more of these. But uh, for those that you've hung in towards the end, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.